Oh, hey. So today we're gonna be doing a haul video. Yeah. The stores I went to were Sam's Club, Target, Savers, Goodwill. I know this is an interesting list. Joanne Fabrics and Michaels. If you wanna know what I got, then here we go. So I'm gonna start off with accessories. The first thing I got was this little choker necklace. See that? And I got this from Goodwill for two dollars. Two dollars. Can't argue with that, people. I also got this other chugger from there, which is this one. Just looks like this. That's not gonna look cute, but that's what it looks like on. And I really like it. Obviously, that's why I bought it. And then, oh, I'm really excited about this one. I was watching a video by Bethany Moda about how to make choker necklaces, and I was like, oh, like. That looks fun and you don't have to buy them. Like, the supplies is maybe $10 at most. At most. It's really just $10 because you need charms and stuff. And I liked lots and lots of charms. So, I'll, sh I'll shut up and show you what it looks like. This one has a little bar and all you gotta do is just string it on this cord. And then you gotta attach like the little necklace clasp things. I'll link her video below but I'll probably make one in the future about how I did it because I couldn't find the things that she found. I also made this one. It's a little heart and it's connected to this bigger one and they're just connected in the back all by one cord. These other two jewelry items are from Goodwill as well because Goodwill is the place to go apparently. Oh, oh. Little necklace and they're connected, like, see? And it's just this little cross, and this little diamondy jewel da gem, the j j it's a gem, gem thing. It just looks like that, and I just thought it was really pretty, and it's really good to layer with these, and it just looks... <sighs> I also got from Goodwill this, just prepare yourselves because it's beautiful. This little... Like, who would have thought the Goodwill would have these things? Like, not me, not I, no Sari Bob. This little necklace and this little bracelet, that's what it's called. They were each like $3. It's like, you can't beat that. Also from Goodwill, I got this infinity scarf. And it came in like brand new packaging. Like, it hadn't even been worn. Same with the bracelet and necklace that I bought, they were all in new packaging. So, like, Goodwill has its own like jewelry brand? I don't know. I don't know how it worked because I don't think someone like donated just like new ones because there was like lots of these like in different colors and stuff. I don't know if it was like uh, extraordinary Goodwill but whatever it was I was I was happy about it. Moving on to clothes. I got this flannel. Just really big and oversized and I think it's maroon? Purple? I think it's maroon. Burgundy? I don't know. And then just black and white and it has like little yellow stripedy poos in there. It's just, it just, it's great to just pair over a plain t-shirt or just wear around your waist for an extra little flare. Five bucks. Five bucks. I bought a flannel from Target. It was like twenty dollars. You could get four of these for the price of one. I'm really good at math. Little side note about buying things from like Goodwill or Savers or the Salvation Army or like any thrifty second hand store. Always wash the clothes before you wear them because you never know who wore them before you or if that person died in them. I have that feeling a lot, it kind of scares me, but just a good, good little like TLC, a little washy wash. It'll be fine. The next thing I got is from Target Boutique. Which is Target for a few. It's Target. And it's just this like plain oversized sweater shirt, long sleeve shirt thing, a jig, this, mm -hmm. and I think it will just be great for just lounging around and just chilling out and it was three dollars. Three dollars! So I guess you don't need to go to Goodwill just for a sale, but 
y you get the point. The next thing I bought, okay, these are really just like plain things and I apologize, but I wanted it. Just this plain black, plain black t-shirt. Oh, I also went to Savers. I didn't say that. This is, that's where this is from. It's also another like Goodwill type store. Mom was like, that's really boring. Like, why did you get that? Well, first of all, mom, because it was only two dollars. I think. Maybe it was three. I don't remember. I think it was two. But this is this is why I bought it. Well, I didn't know I was gonna do this with it. I was just gonna like fringe the bottom of it. Then when I went to Michael's, going jewelry crazy, making crazy, I found Okay, that's probably not good. Here we go. Just look at, just, just, mm, mm. It was two dollars. Two dollars. So this is gonna be like a four dollar shirt. Mm-hmm. You buy that at somewhere else for like ten dollars. And sometimes you ain't got ten dollars to spare. I also went to Forever 21 and I got just some plain black leggings. Let's just stick to this super exciting color palette. And I got two pairs because they were six dollars, and with them being six dollars, I know that they'll probably fall apart. So, two pairs. Now time for makeup stuffy stuff stuff. <laughs> I bought this Rimmel London Extra Super Lash Mascara, and like, it's okay. Like, mm, it's really flaky. Like after you wear it for a while, I just don't like it. The next thing I got was this Revlon Colorstay Liquid Eye Pen, and like, I like it. It's okay. It's decent. I'll do a makeup tutorial with it because I'll teach you how to do a winged eye the Lexi way because I can't do it any other way. Because I just, I'm challenged. Okay, like the lighting is going away. I think the sun's like leaving me. The next thing I got. It wasn't something new, it was just this Cetaphil moisturizer, and it's... I wouldn't have even known about this if it weren't for my best friend Neil giving me his because he was allergic to it. Sorry Neil. It is just the best thing ever. It's just like thick and creamy and beautiful and it just hydrates and moisturizes, hence the name, it's a moisturizer. And, the first jar lasted me like a year and I got this one from Sam's Club and it was like 10 bucks maybe but if it lasts you a year like you can splurge a little. The next thing I bought doesn't really have a category so I'm just gonna go with like miscellaneous. Just hold on a second. Blue, raspberry, cookies. If I were to describe how these taste I would say that they taste like Kool-Aid, Fruity Pebbles, and let's just go with Lucky Charms too because they are magically delicious. I got this from Joanne Fabrics. Why it was there? I don't know, but I don't like to question fate. It was fate that I found you. It also came with like blue raspberry frosting and I thought that would be like a little much. So I just got plain vanilla frosting and that on top of it just... And that's really all that I got, so I will talk to you guys later. Ain't it fun? Living in the <laughs> Oh shit. I also got this other <laughs> And that's really all that I got, so... <coughs> what is that? What am I saying? Oh my.